week five begins after we have had a week off. And as a testament to the show and how the study I has been going, I was itching to get back into the Carrington household. I was interested to see how things were going to move along. Now, the main crux of the story for this episode, which is called The Chauffeur Tells a Secret, was all about how Matthew, who is Blake's driver, who kind of was romantically involved with Fallon, um, finds out that Fallon made a deal with Cecil Kobe just to uh, hitch up with his nephew, I believe, Jeff. Um, and if she did that, he would help Blake out of his financial difficulties. And so Matthew runs off and tells Blake about this, and then Blake confronts Fallon about it. Now, that confrontation was a little dull. It was pretty boring, to be honest. It just... Oh, the show, early on, it's, uh... It's struggling. It's really struggling to figure out what it is. Now, it, what was interesting... Um... The most interesting storyline surrounded Claudia's daughter. Um, now remember, Claudia was the crazy woman who is no longer deemed crazy. She's out of the insane asylum. And so Claudia has a boy over and they're running lines for... It sounds like Taming of the Shrew, but I could be wrong on that. So don't quote me on that. Um... And he makes a move on her, and he doesn't want to let go. He It's almost to the point of rape, but she kind of screams at him to get out. And eventually he caves in and goes out, but he's pretty much like, what's wrong with you? You're as crazy as your mother is. Um, and she takes offense to that, as she should, obviously. This was something that... I wondered, yeah, I don't know. It was it was a very interesting storyline, and I wondered how it would have been handled today. Um, I, I think my favorite scene in the episode was when um, the daughter has gone off and... She's driving, and she doesn't have her permit yet or anything. And Mom and Dad find her, and Mom drives her back home, and they have a conversation. Well, it's really a one-way conversation from the mother to the daughter. And the mother just uh, knows everything that's bothering her and is very uh, insightful in that way. It was very interesting how they handled that. Now... There was some really confusing stuff this episode as well, especially in terms of what they're doing with Stephen Carrington, who is the gay son um, of Blake. Now, I don't know what they're trying to do with the storyline. I, I mean, you, you can have an idea of maybe they'll go this way in the future or that way. It seemed to me that the end of the episode, and the end of the episode did shock me, so I applaud them for that. I just don't think it was a good choice. Um, Claudia, who was the crazy mother, um, had a conversation with Stephen and was really connecting with Stephen at the Carrington House party. Um, and her husband was trying to reconnect with um, Blake's wife. Ooh, yeah, it was, it was, it was a little tricky there. And so, eventually she finds out that Stephen is gay, and that he's not going to reciprocate any of the feelings that she has for her, and she feels like that's totally fine, and all of that stuff. The end of the episode has Stephen over at their house for dinner, and she and him share 
a kiss. And it's not just she kisses her, but he's kissing her back. It was it was odd. I didn't understand why this was there. And I've been told from some people, oh, this was the early 80s, so they wouldn't have done uh, this. They wouldn't have wanted him to be fully gay at that time. However, from what I've seen from him so far, he seems absolutely certain in and confident in his sexuality and so I don't think this would have ever happened and so that's why I'm deeply confused about it. In fact there's been whole storylines about how he's proving his manlyhood because he knows he's gay and he doesn't feel like the other men at the oil rig respect him because of his sexual preference and it's just it just seemed to be there for shock value, and I thought it was stupid. I didn't think it was the right decision at all. I don't know where they're going with it. I don't really know if I want to find out. Obviously, I will. Um, but, yeah, it was not a good choice. Um, what? I would say this was even worse than Fallon's wedding, honestly. Um, this was about a 2 out of 5, so that's not very good. Sorry, Dynasty. I did miss the show, and I enjoyed getting back into it, but they made some poor choices, and I'm not sure what they're trying to say, whether they're saying Steven really isn't confident in his sexuality, which doesn't really go with all of the other things that have been established about his character, so it was not good. Am I excited for next week's episode? No. I don't want to see where they're going with the storyline. I want them to drop it as quickly as they can. And I want to see Fallon be vicious again. Fallon is so boring now. She was incredible. Absolutely incredible in oil. And this was just so dull. Anyways, um... Yeah, so I will see you guys next week, same time, and yeah, we'll keep plugging away at the first season. We're, we're almost halfway there, I think, so keep at it, guys.